Well, three people are still recovering from a stabbing at a women's homeless shelter in Mount Auburn. This all happened as many of the women were preparing just to start the day. A 25 year old woman was eventually arrested on assault charges. Nine on your side's Whitney Miller was there as police were investigating. A lot of these women here at the shelter house are just trying to get back on their feet. I spoke to a woman this morning who says she was looking for new housing arrangements when all hell broke loose. Blood from someone getting stabbed and faces and scalps bleeding from braids being pulled. It was, I'm, I mean, I'm overwhelmed. Christy Williams didn't know what was going on Tuesday morning when a 25 year old woman started stabbing people with a ballpoint pen at the Esther Marie Hatton Center for Women. So we all running in different rooms to try to get away from her, from her preventing her from stabbing us. Three people were stabbed and a fourth person was injured. Residents and staff say they were trying their best to restrain her until police arrived. Having to pull out my survivor skills just to help get her off of you know, our RAs, that was a hand and a half within itself yeah. because she was like as strong as six bulls. Staff at Shelter House declined to comment about the incident Tuesday, but both of the residents we spoke with say the woman appeared to be going through a mental crisis. I've never seen nothing like this before in my day of my life. Right. But she shouldn't have been here anyway. She should have been in the hospital being, you know, told to take her medicine or something. Kevin Finn with Strategies to End Homelessness says what happened Tuesday, while unfortunate, is what can happen when nearly a quarter of the homeless population is dealing with mental illness. It is not possible to force people to take medication. It's not possible to make people seek treatment who, who don't want it. But the goal of the shelters is to make sure that everybody has a safe place to sleep. For some of the residents, Tuesday stabbing was a wake up call. You never know what one is going through, yeah. you know, and it was very scary, I, at least for me. At this time, healthcare professionals cannot confirm that camp has been treated for mental illness, but what we do know is that she could be facing more charges from police as they investigate and talk to witnesses. For now in Cincinnati, Whitney Miller, 9 on your side.